Okay, so you know that you need alcohol or drug addiction treatment to start your recovery journey, but you're not sure which level of care is right for you. Well, in this video, you'll hear from Director of Alumni Services, Jess Berry, as she explains the full continuum of care and where to start. Hey, it's Clint with Sandstone Care, where we help teens, young adults, and their families overcome challenges that come with substance use, addiction, and mental health conditions. All right, let's get right to it. So I'll start with saying that what, what research tells us is that the closer we can get someone to a year of sobriety, the higher likelihood they're going to remain sober. And so I think all treatment is looking towards how can, if they, if they start at the top, how can, and we titrate them down, how can we get them at least as close to, you know, six months, nine months to a year as possible with as much support as they need so that then they can, they can uh, navigate on their own beyond that. I think from the get-go, it's important to know that a needs assessment uh, is, is conducted for every client and that really determines, and that's conducted by a licensed therapist. And that they really are, are the experts in determining what level of care someone starts at. So not everyone has to start at the top, right? Um, some people start in the middle. It's really based on the acuity of what's going on for them and how much service they need at any given time. But the continuum kind of starts at the top uh, with detox, and that's 24 seven care. So you're living and staying at a facility, um, you're sleeping there. If you're going through detox, that kind of comes first so that we can safely help you, um, you know, titrate off whatever substances you've been struggling with and, and make sure that you're safely and medically cleared before uh, continuing on with your sobriety. There are some substances out there that it's very unsafe to do that on your own. So having that medical oversight is very important, uh, specifically with alcohol and benzos. From there, once you're medically cleared, inpatient or residential services is kind of the next level down. You're still in the same inpatient setting. You're still sleeping there. You're still staying there, but you are um, you have the ability to uh, participate in group because you're feeling good, feeling better, and really working towards uh, getting some skills on how to navigate this new experience of okay, I'm sober now, or okay, I'm. I'm coming out of the fog of, of some mental health struggles. So residential inpatient services is 24 seven care inpatient. From there, again, the goal is to titrate down a number of clinical hours or supportive hours. So from an inpatient setting, which is typically, you know, it's 24 seven, but typically around 30 to 40 hours of clinical care between group therapy and individual therapy, as well as other support services. Uh, from there, the, the step down from that is what we call partial hospitalization. It's often known as PHP. And PHP is outpatient, meaning you're not living at a facility. You're typically living at home or in a transitional living facility or sober living facility. And, um, and you're attending day treatment. It's also known as day treatment. So that's about, again, around still around 30 to 40 hours a week but it is, you're not living on site somewhere. You're still participating in group therapy, you're still participating in individual therapy, as well as other services at Sandstone, such as academic and vocational support, uh, psychiatry and medication management appointments. Um, but it's still that, that beefy 30 to 40 hours a week. Our next level down is intensive outpatient or IOP. And IOP um, is the same concept as PHP or partial hospitalization day treatment, only it's about 17 to 20 hours a week. Um, but you're still getting the same group, just a little bit less number of hours of group, and, and you're still seeing your therapist, but maybe less often. Um, and family therapy is a big part of both of those levels of care, um, and it's just a, a little less frequent in intensive outpatient. Our lowest level of care when we look at the continuum is outpatient services. And outpatient services in a treatment setting looks typically like a relapse prevention group that's attended weekly. It's the lowest level. It's the, okay, you're, you're ready to fly and we wanna make sure you still have those, a little bit of support. You can still see the psychiatrist if you need some services. You still have academic and vocational support, um, but you, 
uh, and you're still going to this group, but you're not seeing an individual therapist at this point. So now we want to transition you back into your community and getting those services established in your community. So um, at that point, we're, that's where we're looking for that perfect match for you for individual therapy, for family therapy, and for any medication needs for psychiatry um, so that you can establish care permanently or at least in the near term, near to long term, uh, with providers that are close in your community that, that you can continue your relationship with for as long as needed. Now, the continuum can definitely, it's not... It's not top to bottom or, or bottom up. It can definitely change, right? If someone comes in at an, at an intensive outpatient level of care about 17 to 20 hours a week, they're really struggling with staying sober or they're really struggling with their mental health and they need some more support, then they can, they can bump up to, to the you know, partial hospitalization where they have you know, about 30 to 40 hours a week. And if, if more care is needed, then of course going inpatient is available too. So, so the continuum kind of moves around based on needs assessment and how someone's progressing through you know, the healing process. If you want to learn more about treatment options for you, your teen, or young adult, then tell us about your situation on a confidential call using the number linked up in the description box below. Or live chat with us at sandstonecare.com. We'll connect you with the treatment that you need, and if we're not the right fit, we'll get you where you need to go. Be well and remember that change is possible.